Let's talk salmon fishing. There is many techniques to catching salmon on the Columbia River system, the tributaries to the Columbia River and the coast, and also in salt water. And we are going to go through some of those techniques to give you a better idea on how to bait and scent your lures effectively to catch more. One of the most effective ways to catch salmon, whether it's in the salt, in the Columbia River or the small tributaries is fishing with herring. There's many techniques to it. We have developed a super herring brine in two different colors. We have the natural and we have the blue to effectively brine your herring to fit every situation to catching salmon. So now I'm going to go through some steps on making good herring. The first thing you always want to do is pick out good herring. This package here, as you can see, has a lot of nice bright scales. Uh, most of the scales are still on the bait and there's no freezer burn. So you always want to look at that. The next step is to properly uh, get your herring prepared for brine. What I mean is most packages come vacuum packed. You want to pop that seal and at least let them thaw halfway so that when you peel them apart, it doesn't pull scales and that can go into your herring brine. The next step while this is thawing is take your herring brine. We're going to uh, start with the uh, natural super herring brine. We'll set this off to the side so that it can thaw. This is a really simple brine. We are taking a quart of distilled water. In this case I have it in a Ziploc bag. Uh, you can do it in any sealable container, but this is, this is what we're working with today. And we're going to put a third cup of the herring brine to this quart of water. This brine has two different salts in it. This has a fine salt, which will release very quickly into the water for your herring to pull in at right when they start brining. It also has a coarse salt. This salt will time release. This salt will allow the herring to uh, finish getting firm if all the fine salt runs out and it'll also help the herring hold for a long period of time. Also in this brine you have a uh, scale enhancement agent. This powder is going to clean and shine the scales and also help them adhere to the bait so that they don't fall off as you're using it. This is going to keep that nice natural shine as your bait's rotating in the water. Makes it look natural, makes it look real. This also has a light preservative so if you use this in distilled water your bait will hold very fresh and nicely up to seven days. So open up your bag, you got your quart of water and you have your one-third cup Fill that cup up nicely, put it in the bag, seal that bag up or container, whatever you may be using. And I like to give this a good shake, we'll get that dissolve process to start. Get this shook up and then from there you can let that uh, cool down in the fridge until your bait is ready. All right, now that your bait is halfway thawed and your brine is cooled down, let's take and open up the package. Pull out your nice herring. And we're going to take and put those herring into the brine. Now be careful when you pull these apart because you don't want to break tails or wipe off scales. You want all that to go in the brine so the brine will 
adhere those scales to the bait and it'll stay true and whole. Stick this in there. Like so. I'm not going to put the whole package in this one because we're going to do the blue also. Zip this up. And then put this back in your refrigerator or in your cooler on ice overnight. And these will be ready the next day. I like to brine the herring whole. Uh, that way it holds all the natural bait scents in the, in the herring, such as the blood and the, uh, the, nat the natural pheromones and everything that's an attractant and stimulant to those fish. That way when you cut that bait for plug cutting, it is, uh, it is fully natural and ready to go. Now if you do want a firmer bait, like you're fishing very heavy current or a lot warmer water, then pre-plug cutting the bait, if you're fishing a cut plug, does help firm it up a little harder. Your preference. After your herring has brined overnight, it should be ready to go. Pull those out and we're ready to fish. We're going to, uh, let's start with a natural. And you're going to see a couple things with this herring. And it comes out of the brine. You should see that it has all of its nice iridescent shine to it. That's where that scale enhancement agent has come into play and shined and fixed those scales to the bait. Also, none of those scales should wipe off. That enhancement agent should keep those scales on there nicely. You'll also find that it's nice and firm, but it's not shriveled. It has pulled those salts in and firmed them up nicely, but it hasn't shriveled it. That gives it its true bait feeling look. From here, you can uh, fish it whole, you can plug cut it, you can do whatever you need. What I recommend for plug cutting is to get this well-used little plug cut miter box. Lay your bait in there like so, and that way you can cut it perfectly every time with one nice motion. And that'll give you a nice perfect cu cut plugged herring with a, uh, with a perfect edge. Some people like to leave the guts in them. I like to pull them out. What I do is I'll take this knife and I'll pull these guts out like so. Most of the time they come out pretty easily. This one's brined nicely. So you pull the guts out and I like to slit it back here at the bottom of the belly. This will allow the water to flow through the bait and give it a nice tight roll. So you got the perfect shine, you got the perfect cut, and you got a nice aerodynamic bait that's going to roll at a slow speed and be tight and fast. That is the natural. The blue, you should find the same thing. This is the blue herring brine. Should still have this all the same iridescent colors to it from the bait. They just should all be tinted blue. So you got your natural and your blue. We also like to scent our herring when we take it out to use it. A all natural herring works great. It looks like a herring, it smells like a herring, it must be a herring. But sometimes it takes a little extra to trigger these fish. Uh, that's where our Graybill's formulas come in handy, where we have the stimulant and the attractant. One of my favorite to use on the herring is the salmon formula. The best way to scent our herring is I like the soaking process. So what I'll do in the morning is I'll get two or three of these tubs and I'll put some scent in. We'll put some salmon formula in one, like so. Put a little bit down in the bottom. Close it up. I will get a, uh, a krill in one, and I like a garlic sometimes in one. And I'll take this herring, just whole, and I'll put them down in those tubs, 
and basically let them soak and marinate in that scent as I'm getting the boat ready and getting ready to go. Because it's a true fish oil scent, that bait is going to pull that scent in and hold on to it. Now this gives you options. You can get out on the water, you can fish an all natural bait, you can fish a salmon formula bait which has the anise in it, you can fish one that smells like krill, and you can fish one that smells like garlic, and you can find what those fish really want for that day. Also, this allows you to freshen up your bait quickly. If you save these tubs and you've got a bait that is fished, say, for half hour, 45 minutes, and you want to freshen it up, you can reel that bait in, dunk it back in the tub for a second, say as you're running back up to the top of a drift or, or coming back through a trolling pattern, and put it right back out there with fresh scent. You'll find a lot of times after you've soaked an old bait, you will instantly hit a fish right after uh, soaking it in some fresh scent. That's a nice Chinook. Whoa! Give the camera a big one. He's the man! He's the man! <laughs>